welcome back to my channel. Mamo's here with me and he says hi too. He's been a little rascal, as always. So we'll just let him go and he can live his dog life, right mama? Here, you want your froggy? Okay, go. All right, so today I'm gonna be testing out a new product and reviewing it and telling you if it's good or not. And that is the Ultimate Brush Set and Go Off Translucent Loose Setting Powder by Urban Decay. So this thing I've seen um, all over YouTube, kind of like a lot of um, YouTubers have talked about it. I got this in the universal shade just because I wasn't about to match myself. Um, but I really wanted to try it out and the reason for that is because of the... Here, let's open it. First of all, I think it's a good price, $36. Um, however, it does seem to be a little small. But the reason why I wanted to get it is because of this whole concept where you the loose powder gets collected in here. So, and you have a brush when you like close it. So the good thing, oops, no, no mama, that's not for you. So the good thing about this is that um, you keep all the product. Like when you have a powder where you have to put some in the cap or uh, wherever in the palm of your hand, you lose product. It might not be a lot, but you lose product. With this, you get to keep all of it, which is nice. I like that it comes with a brush because um, if you wanted to bring this like with you somewhere, if you're going out to like a big party or whatever and you wanna like, touch up, you can just bring this. You don't need to bring a pressed powder or something like that. You can just bring this one. Um, I've liked Urban Decay for like many, many years. Ever since I started using makeup, um, actually my first ever foundation was the Naked by Urban Decay, right? I think that was a foundation. I think. I don't wanna screw it up. But that was like my very first foundation to ever, ever, ever use. And I just love their products. I love their all-nighter spray. And so I figured this will likely be good as well. Um, I have been in the market for a new translucent powder because I'm kind of sick of my Laura Mercier um, translucent powder because I feel like it just doesn't work for me anymore as well as I would like it to. Um, I also recently moved to Florida. I no longer live in Chicago. And here the weather is really different it's a lot warmer like all of the time and it's also very humid um, in Chicago it's humid in the summer but here it's humid all year round pretty much so I've noticed that some of the makeup products that I used to use don't necessarily work for me anymore and translucent powder is one of those things I just want a new one I want something new I want something fresh I want something amazing and I hope that this is it so Without further ado, let's just get into this video. Mm -mm. Oh, and before we get into the video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And then, that's all I want. So, first I need to remove that plastic thing. Okay, cool. So I opened it. Let me just close it and then maybe like flip it over a few times. Oh, mm-hmm. You guys, this is, wow, full of powder now. Okay, awesome, I like it. I kinda don't like this brush because it seems like it's a little bit too stiff for me, but I will try using it nonetheless. And um, I've already done a lot of my makeup. I did foundation, concealer, my eyes, my brows, so now all I have to do is powder, bronze, blush, mascara, and be out the door, you know? Okay, let's see how this goes. Yeah, the brush is way too stiff for me. But it works, like if you were on the go and like, you know, out there. Okay. By the way, I'm using a Jeffree Star and Morphe collab brush. This is the JS2. And I'm using that to apply powder. So I'm setting all over my face with this. Okay. 
So I like this powder because I feel like the more I move it around with the brush inside the container, like when I pick it up, some of it goes on the brush and some of it falls back down. So it's not like it stays in this area and then it gets messy. So it doesn't get messy is what I'm trying to say. He wants to become a makeup artist. It's his calling. Mm. Thank you, Mama. Thank you for the kisses. Now I'm just going to set underneath my eyes. I'm excited to see how this will look throughout the day. I'm going to be doing check-ins. So we'll see how this performs. Okay, so do you remember what I started with? Like, there's not that much left now. It's like a lot of it is either in here or I used it, which is nice. So, um, so far, first impressions, I'm sorry. I'm just like trying to like damage control here because my dog is getting at everything. So far, I must say, looking in the mirror, um, it looks really good. I look pretty poreless, but that might be something else that I'm doing. Like, I'm reducing my pores, like the size of them. I will talk about that if it works I will tell you guys about it um, but this is cool I like this powder so far I'm like more interested to see how it wears throughout the day like check-ins in like two three hours and just to see how it performs that way what wow, my love what is it you want to say to everyone tell them tell them mommy please like comment and subscribe down below down below Okay, so real quick to finish up this look, I'm going to be bronzing up my face a little and I'm going to be using the Becca, um, Chloe and Malika BFFs palette that they did or yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to be using the bronze shade of course. For blush, I'm using the Ciate Marbled Light in the shade Halo. This is the blush I used in my last video as well. I got this in my BoxyCharm monthly subscription and I have been obsessed. I feel like it just gives you like the most natural like flushed look. Okay, and then to highlight, I'm just going to be using my Lancome um, Absolute Powder. Also, I've talked about this. A few times and I like it because it's a very natural highlight next I'm gonna be applying a brow gel um, just to set my brows in place this is the brow gal um, the instant tint the instant tint brown hair 2 this is the shade for lips I'm using the Lancome 3331 331 um, Fleur Impressionist. This is also the same shade I used in my last video. It's just my go-to. I love it. And then for mascara, I'm going to be using my Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara with Castor Oil. This is um, another uh, one of the products that I used in my last video. And this is also a product that I got in my monthly subscription with BoxyCharm. And to finish this look, we are going to be using the MAC Fix Plus Prep and Prime. Um, this is the rose one. I really like this. I use it as a setting spray. I don't know if it's supposed to be a primer spray, but that's just what I use it as. And it works great. So that's what I'm using. Mm -hmm. Momo, you need to move away from here right now because Mommy's going to spray stuff. Okay, are you going to chase this? Yes, you are. Go! I had not used this in a long time, so it didn't come out as misty as I was hoping it would. Dang, we got some real <laughs> raindrops here. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the finished look. Um, so far the powder looks great. Um, I am mattified, but yet it's like a little bit like glowy. It looks good. I'm excited. I will check in back with you guys in like 2-3 hours to let you know of how this is wearing and how we're looking. Hey guys, so it has been one hour and 15 minutes. 
Uh, but it's been one hour since I did my makeup and so far it is not budged like it looks so good it does not look shiny whatsoever like I said my skin does look like there's less pores um, it's just so good so far You just want to pee and poo poo because you're a good boy, right? And you know to poo poo outside now. Yeah, mama. Um, but so far it looks amazing. I'm gonna keep checking in. I want to see how it's gonna look two hours from now and later tonight. I am going out tonight. I'm gonna go see a movie and maybe go out to dinner. So I want to see how this will wear throughout the entire day, anyways. Uh, that was the update thus far. This is one hour after application. I will check back in with you guys in another two hours to let you know how this makeup look is holding up. Mm, 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 mm. All right, I am back and it is now 3 p.m. And my makeup still looks pretty darn good. I went out on a few walkies with Momo and it was kind of raining, it was like drizzling, it was very unpleasant weather. Um, it's also pretty warm today and looking at my makeup, it looks really, really good. I must say my nose is um, the shiniest part of my face, but it's not as oily as it is usually. Um, my makeup looks put like nothing is coming down so as I was saying um, I like this because it doesn't make you completely matte but at the same time you're not oily but you're just like glowy and like your skin looks good it almost like it blends so well with the foundation it literally looks like it's just my skin as opposed to it doesn't look like I have foundation. Obviously I have makeup on, like whoever sees me is gonna know I have makeup on because full face, of course. But my skin, like the texture and everything looks really, really good. So far I'm loving the powder. I'm not going to wipe my face. Like I'm not gonna like touch up to like remove excess oil whatsoever. I don't wanna do that. Usually, uh, if I wasn't testing the powder and if I was just like, living my life and having makeup on I usually do do that I touch up constantly and like not constantly but like every like hour or so I touch up to like make sure that I don't have any excess oil but because I want to see this um, powder how it works and how oily my face will be at the end of the day I'm not gonna touch up because that would be cheating in my eyes um, so yeah I will Check back in with you guys, um, maybe before I leave, which is gonna be around five, or just like when I come back, which is gonna be really late at night. Hey guys, so I'm back. It is 9 p.m. at night, and I just got home. I went out to dinner, and yeah, so this, let's see how my makeup is looking, because we haven't really looked in the mirror. I'm just obsessed with my eyeshadow, although it creased a lot. All right, let's see how this looks. Okay. All right, so my skin definitely looks more oily now than it did um, earlier today, but it's not like horrible. Like you could see it, yeah, but it's not like, you know, I mean, it's been eight hours or no nine hours because I did my makeup at 12 p.m. exactly is when I finished so from 12 to 9 nine hours which is a pretty long time and I like the way it held up I did not wipe my face whatsoever like I did not try to like absorb the oil however now you can see it on my forehead you can see it here in like the t-zone um, however I must say that for a nine hour day where I went out continuously, like going on walks, it was raining, um, it was warm, things like that, like my makeup lasted really, really well. Oh, well. Yeah, I don't think this would work like using this brush. Like you just can't because now it's like drenched in powder. 
like once you've already opened it and like if you like toss it like around in your bag like this would be something that needs to be on your vanity like this because once you've already opened it the brush now is filled with powder and you can't really like tap it off that well so I think this is kind of it was it, it was like a good idea but not really so I'm gonna close this video off now because I'm gonna take a shower and call it a night and maybe edit this video um, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and Momo is back because he knows we're about to say goodbye right mama Come say bye with me. Come say bye with me. Mm. He just ate. He was just eating his food. That's why he wasn't bothering me because he was like eating. Look at him. Look at you, Michelle. Whoa, mommy. There's no more food for you. You just ate a full meal. Mm. Say bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs>